one guy who knows what it's like to play in the championship game is five-time Pro Bowl cornerback Rondé Barber. What you might not know is Rondé is also a NASCAR fan who has spent some time in the garage, and it is a sport that he loves to be around. When I was growing up in Roanoke, Virginia, I, I saw these cars. 78, to me, it was a sexy car. You know, it had the, the right kind of curves, if you know what I mean. To me, that's the iconic Corvette. It was probably 95 or 96. Uh, I was at, in college at UVA, and uh, my brother and I were driving back to Roanoke in a Hyundai Sonata. Got an accident, and insurance gave us enough money for one year where we could afford a sports car. And they, uh, they agreed to lease us a, a Chevy Camaro for, for a year. And that's really where my kind of love for cars that go fast started. Um, and uh, I've been wanting one and more ever since. Rondé Barber, NFL star, and now the wheel of the Toyota Camry XSE pace car. I've been to enough races now to, to understand uh, how special it is and how, how special you have to be to, to be a, a driver, you know. The races that I've been to and have been down you know, near the pit crews and you stand next to them and you're like, okay, that's not a guy like my size. That's, that's, a, that's a, that guy could play in the NFL. There's athleticism involved, there's uh, technique involved. But I could probably pick up a tire and blow my back out, but these guys just, they know how to, they know how to work it. And it's, it's footwork involved that you see. It's all these things that, you know, athletes in other sports talk about that make them successful. These guys are doing the same thing. You know, you can say, hey, look, this guy, what he wasn't a great outside linebacker. This guy's a hell of a tire changer, though. Being a fan at a NASCAR event is like digging deep into things that you don't understand, but you know that you love. <laughs> that's that's the best way I can I can say it. People had told me that, but until I actually went for the first time and got to experience what it was like down in the infield and you know walking next to the cars and is an awesome experience. And if you've never done it, you you have to do it. The pageantry, the the, the importance of it, you know the uh, the logistics of it, and you feel that you feel how special. It is. It's, it's, it's literally the Super Bowl every single week with these events, and uh, I like how special that feels. Watching that piece, and I had forgotten that Rondé was a Virginia guy, played for the Cavaliers in college, so he likely has Richmond as a favorite track. I do agree think, with that. Maybe yeah, Martinsville, maybe. who yeah. knows? Hey, you had to have a lot of former athletes that would come into the garage, hang out with you for some of the big races. What was their reaction when they came over to NASCAR, James? Yeah, uh, so most recently it was J.J. Watt at Texas a few huh. years ago. <clears throat> and when they get to the races, when you watch on TV, you don't realize how complex it is. And when those guys come, and I heard Rondé say it in that piece, when you actually come and you get behind the scenes, you see all the details that go into it it becomes much more complicated and they realize what all the teams are actually going through each weekend. You know, one of the shifts that we've seen, I don't know, in the last 10, 15, 20 years, particularly not when you started, was the, the college athlete, right? The college football player that's now coming over and they're part of these pit crews, which is incredible. What did you first think when this shift started to happen? Yeah, it kind of surprised me because most of my years as a crew chief, we had good mechanics and we tried to make them into tire changers <laughs> and jack man and a gas man. But I even look at a, at a, a tire changer, Shannon Meyer, he's been with Team Penske, he's been with Stuart Haas Racing. He played for the Dolphins and for the Eagles. So not only are we seeing college athletes, we're seeing NFL players migrate to NASCAR to go across the wall. Do you think that, that Jamie was like name dropping? Yeah, when J.J. Watt came out to the track and was hanging with You're me. You only call me out because of the tunnel. That's the only reason. <laughs> I you always say that. The Great American Race. You don't get a name like that by chance. No, that's something you earn. Because this isn't just another race. It's a run at history.